All right, uh, let's look at the homework 6.3, 6.4, problem number one. All right, so we want to uh, approximate this uh, definite integral uh, uh, using Simpson's rule, and that we're going to get the exact value. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, for the Simpson's rule, looks like um, the interval is uh, 3, and we want to divide by 4. So let's see, I'm going to actually do it on GeoGebra. All right, here. So we have uh, f of x is equal to uh, x times uh, square root, square root of x squared uh, plus 1. All right, so we put that in. All right, so for the Simpson's rule, so you're going to have, uh, let's see, delta x would be, uh, length would be 3 minus 0 is 3, divide by 4, so 3 quarter. All right, three quarter. All right, so that's delta x, and then uh, you have to divide by three, so uh, one third. All right, so this is basically delta over three. Then we're gonna have to do the um, f of x. So f for the first number would be f of uh, zero. All right, plus. All right, next one is four times f of all right, so uh, delta x is uh, 3 quarters, so it's going to be 3 quarter, and plus, and 2 times f of, all right, another 3 quarter, so it's going to be 6 quarter, maybe I'll just do 6 quarter, or you can do uh, 3 halves, plus uh, 2 times, uh, actually 4 times, f of, and another 3 quarters, so it's going to be 9 quarter, and plus uh, f of 3, because that's going to be 12 quarter, which is going to be 3. All right, so let's hit enter. All right, so then, oh, actually, then uh, they want precision to be uh, four decimal places. All right, so I have to change the option, uh, then rounding, and go to four decimal places. All right, it came out to be. Uh, 10 point, whoops, I can't see, uh, 10.2013, right? So this is 10.2013, right? So we got that. All right, so let's find the exact value. All right, exact value, uh, I'm going to use a substitution. Uh, let u be uh, x squared plus 1. All right, then take the derivative of u with respect to x, that will be uh, 2x. All right, then take the reciprocal of both sides, so we have dx over du is equal to 1 over 2x. Then uh, multiply both sides by du, so that we have dx all by itself. So du over 2x, right? So this is going to, can be rewritten as, right? So integral, oh, actually I forgot to do this. Uh, x is originally go, uh, goes from zero to three, right? So u, corresponding u value would be zero, so it would be one. And three squared, nine plus one is 10. So it's gonna go from one to 10. I, I leave this x as it, as it is for now, and the square root of, right, this is u, right? dx is, we just found out, that the du over 2x, right? So by canceling x on top and x on the bottom, and actually put this guy outside, uh, we can get, um, right, so 1 half is outside, and you have an integral from 1 to 10, then this is a square root of u. Uh, you can write it as a u to the 1 half power if you want, and then you have a du, right? Then we have uh, 1 half times, right, uh, antiderivative, add 1 to the power, oops, right, add 1 to the power, so that would be 3 halves, Divide by 3 halves is multiplied by 2 thirds, right? 
then uh, you are going from 1 to 10 right so I'm gonna just uh, cancel out the 2 on top and 2 on the bottom and uh, pull uh, 1 third outside so here we have 1 third then you would have right 10 to the uh, 3 halves power minus 1 to the 3 halves power is going to be 1 so uh, you're going to have so let's see I'm going to actually use just parentheses right alright let's uh, find that value so it's a uh, 10 to the 10 to the 3 halves power um, well 3 halves power minus 1 then I have to divide by 3 is it uh, let's see let's double check yep All right so that value came come came out to be 10.2076 right so let's type it in All right 10.2076 all right, so let's uh, uh, double check by submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back and uh, looks like uh, we got uh, both of these guys correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.